Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for this video because it is right up my alley and it is so my jam. So this week I decided to talk about five reasons to get and keep your money right. Having your financial house set up properly is so important um, for several different reasons and I'm going to go over five big ones in this video but it's something that I think everyone should not only like work towards but maintain on a regular basis especially now in 2023 with all of this craziness happening around the world economically okay so the first reason that you want to get and keep your money right and make sure that your financial house is in order is to ensure your freedom now this is a big thing because I just think it's something people don't really talk about or think about, but it is something that a lot of people strive for. We all want the freedom to do the things that we want to do, go where we want to go, hang with the people we want to hang with, all of that, right? But if we are financially bound, we give away our freedom. But when we have our financial house in order and things are in alignment, we are then able to move however we need to move. And this is really important, especially now, I think, because it allows for us not to be pimped out. I mean, truly, truly, when it comes to how we earn our money, we don't have to compromise. If there is something that goes against our morals or values, we are able to say, no, we're good. And we don't have to be scared if we might get fired or we might get demoted or maybe that will affect our pay in the long term, et cetera, et cetera. When our financial house is in order and things are set up properly, we gain a lot of freedom and we are no longer um, at the mercy of a company, at the mercy of our boss, at the mercy of clients, fill in the blank, um, we are deciding and moving in accordance with our purpose and our intentions. And that is very powerful. Okay, so the second reason that you want to make sure that your financial house is in order is because of security. Um, it is really important, uh, again, especially in this economic climate that we're in, in the United States and globally, we're all connected. But when we have when our financial house is in order, that gives us peace of mind. And that peace of mind affects so many other areas of our lives. Um, I mean, it's huge. It reduces stress. It allows for us to sleep better, which has an impact on our health. It is just a ripple effect. But having that financial foundation creates security and that creates peace of mind and it, the benefits are just monumental. The next reason is because it allows us to be generous without limitations. So once we are taken care of, we are then able to give and to give without uh, hesitation and to give without feeling like, ooh, maybe this I can use this for this or for this or this could pay this bill or I need to take care of this over here. When we are taken care of, when our financial house is set and in order, then when we give, we are able to give freely, we are, give, we are able to give abundantly, and we're able to give without um, hesitation or, what's the word that I'm looking for? I guess hesitation and limitations. Um, it, we're able to really be generous to the things that God has put on our hearts, and that's so beneficial. But it requires, and we're able to give joyfully. And that's, I don't know about for you guys, but for me, I give sometimes and it's not joyful. I feel like I should give. And it's when I my, house, my financial house has not been in order. And I'm like, oh, I should give, so I do. But my heart isn't really in it. And it's not given with a joyful heart or with a joyful spirit. And so it really defeats the purpose of giving, I think. Um, but when things are in order and in alignment, not only are we able to be more generous if we choose to be, but we are able to give with a joyful heart and without limits. And like, uh, I'm going to slow down here for a minute because I think that this is really important. 
how we give, especially money, but whether we give time, whether we give our energy, whether we give resources, when we choose to give, we are either giving something and it is carrying life or we're giving something and it's carrying death. And I know that sounds crazy, but if we give with a begrudging heart, there's no life in that. So whatever seed that, when we give that with a begrudging heart, whatever it is, the seed that's actually planted isn't one that's going to bear any fruit, let alone anything positive into the world. Um, there's a really good book by Ken Honda called Happy Money. I highly suggest that you read it. I will leave a link in the description below. But that book is really good because he talks about money and how money is either happy or it's like it's not. And when you give, when you have happy money, the positive effects of happy money, um, like that seed that's planted gives life, it grows fruit, it produces more, and it makes the world better. And so that's why I think when our financial house is in order, it completely opens up opportunities for us to give without limits joyfully and to produce and create so much more better in the world than if we give because we're supposed to um, and if we give because that is just what's expected. The fourth reason to get and keep your money right is pretty big actually and it's something definitely outside of ourselves. And again, something that I totally geek out going over. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's something I totally geek out over. But the big thing is that it creates a brighter future for those that are related to us and those that are not related to us. And what I mean by this is when we have our money right and things are in alignment and they are how they're supposed to be, whether it's our children or our grandchildren, we are able to leave an inheritance for them. That's number one. The second thing, we are able to have an impact on the world around us and on the things that God has put on our heart to have an impact for, with, to have an impact on. That's the one, on. Um, <laughs> and what I mean by this is we see um, a lot of famous people that have foundations, um, not just famous people, famous, wealthy people that have, that are well off financially. They establish foundations and these foundations are then set with the mission to go out and have an impact in the world. Um, and they're, they all do different things and they all focus in specific areas, but that's what I mean by having an impact on those that are related to us and not related to us. And sometimes people don't even have foundations. Sometimes um, they just give. So at the end of their life, their finances are in order in such a way that their kids receive an inheritance, as well as maybe it's a church, maybe it's a nonprofit organization, a non-for-profit. It just, um, I was thinking an NGO, non-governmental organization as well. But whatever it is, this individual said, when I pass, I want X amount or this particular resource or whatever to go to this organization. And that is such a big deal because as I said before, we can choose to impact the world in a positive way and bring life, or we can choose to really not have an impact and let it continue to go to chaos, which is crazy. Why would we do that? My personal opinion. Um, but I think that it's really important that when we have our things in order, that we start looking at what impact and legacy do we want to leave behind for the rest of the world. And that's just, that's reason number four, because we are able to impact those that are related to us in a positive way and allow for them to grow and to bear fruit as well as those that are not related to us and ultimately making the world a better place. All right, the fifth reason that I think we should have our financial house in order is to actually do the things that we want to do. Um, <laughs> I mentioned this earlier in the video, but it is so true. When our finances are in order and everything is taken care of the way that it needs to be taken care of, we have immense freedom. And at that point, we are then able to make decisions not based on can we afford it, not based on can I get the vacation time, not based on 
um, you know, is this going to fit within my budget or um, how long it's going to take to save, is it gonna be worth the time, etc. Instead, we are able to make decisions based on what we actually want to do, right? What is in alignment with our purpose? What is in alignment with something that brings us joy and happiness? And what is in alignment with how are we going to impact and affect other people? Um, it, that in itself, I think, is just such a huge, wonderful, amazing reward. But uh, I think it's marvelous, personally. With that also, um, I think something that's really important to take into account is that as we decide, we get the time to decide what it is we actually want to do and delve deeper into what our purpose is. So not only do we get to do those things, but before we do them, we are in this space and in this season where we can figure out what is it that we want to do? What is it that brings us joy? What is my purpose? And to actually figure that out for ourselves, which is crucial because so often, especially especially now, let's just keep it 100, um, we are bombarded by all sorts of media, right? Social media, regular media, um, just everything. There's so much noise about what we should be doing, what we should buy, and we're often sold a lot of things instead of taking the time to spend spend the time with God, taking the time to figure out what our purpose is and what things actually bring us joy. What things do we actually like instead of being sold something by someone else, right? But once we have that, which I think is so important, then we're able to go out and to be the person that God has called us to be, to do the things that God has called us to do, and to have the things that God's called us to have because all three of those things, when we're in alignment, they bring us joy and happiness and they bring life. They bring life to us, they bring life to our relationships, they bring life to situations. It is a very beautiful thing. And it's not that finances have to, that they're the end all be all in order to have that. You can start on that journey before your finances are 100% in order, but it definitely helps break down um, mental blocks, it helps to break down uh, limitations that we put on ourselves because we're like, oh, we can't afford that or, you know, I don't have the vacation time for that. All of that goes away when our financial house is in order um, and it opens up a whole different world and spectrum of things that we can actually do just because we can. It's a beautiful, wonderful, amazing thing. Thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Auf Wiedersehen.